What's going on everybody, Sam Burr here. Welcome back to my brand new map. Now, in today's episode, it's going to be a quick little video where basically I start with our starter villages. So the first one's going to be on this little peninsula area here. And then the other one's going to be here along this kind of like coastal beachy area. So this is where our two major towns are going to be. But I was thinking of also doing maybe two other little starter towns. And when I say starter towns, it's going to be the historical village area. So when you look at older cities, you'll notice a lot of the time they have one little area that's very... It's got lots of narrow roads and it's very compact and things like that. So that's what we're going to do here. Crazy wavy little roads, narrow little streets, and just really, really cramped, lots of buildings. And that's just what I wanted to do to, do to actually start off this whole expansion because we needed somewhere to start with because I don't really know where for example, downtowns are going to be, or the really dense areas. So I'm not sure where everything is going to be yet because I'm not really going to plan it. I'm just going to basically let it grow, which is why I wanted to start with two little town centers. Maybe in the next episode, I'll do the other couple of uh, town centers. Now, the road that I'm updating there, originally I was using one-way roads because the one-way roads are really small, but then I found another road, which is... I think it, it's I think it's like a pebble type thing. It's two-way and it also has parking, which is really awesome, whereas the one-way roads didn't have parking. So, yes, definitely I want parking because it makes it look more realistic. It makes it look more alive. Um, also, this little area here. So, a lot of the times in the older downtown or older little village areas, they have little uh, ports that are kind of cut out from the land. So, that's why I did it on the other little town. This one, we're not really going to have a cut out area. I thought since the water is pretty slow in this area because we have that little island sand bay thing on the other side that kind of blocks out all the big waves. So, it's pretty calm in this area. Now, I know I'm doing the, the buildings in these two areas little villages in this episode they are the same style but what what will happen is even though it is the same style the question will be which one's going to modernize and which one's going to become more of the slums so that's kind of a plan that i'm going for just depends which way it goes maybe we'll have two slums maybe we won't i don't know but i definitely do want to do some kind of comparison between the two areas but for now they're just going to stay very very similar and it's also got to be in keeping with our original town which is on that island which you guys have seen before um, so yeah I've also put in a couple of I forget where it's from there's these other buildings that have a bit of a orangey roof the reason why I did that is just to give a little bit of a variety because I don't want them to all just to look exactly the same um, that gray that grayish whitish color so I just put in a few other little random buildings which have a different color just to really brighten it up and so there's going to be high schools there's going to be the primary school the elementary school we also have a little clinic hospital I believe uh, we have a police building which is in this style we also have our fire station which is kind of in this style it has a tower so everything is in these little towns so they are functioning areas except they don't really have industrial but I mean industrial will come so I really just wanted to get these little areas done just so it's it's easier for me to start building from somewhere because I don't want to just start building like a random suburb somewhere I want it to be I want to build the suburb that's you know next to an old downtown like we like we're doing here so i just want somewhere where i can build upon and just let the area develop on its own and we can do other little smaller roads because obviously i'm not going to make them all rely on the highway just to get from the town and town to city to city blah 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 so i also need to do a big road network so not just highways but dirt roads and other smaller roads and things like that so in these little villages the port harbor little areas that's where most of the little shops and commercial areas are going to be but i do put some commercial buildings throughout the area just to break it up a little bit like you know like corner corner side stores and just things like that so they can just walk around uh only a couple of office buildings so we definitely do need to do office parks in the future we need to do big industrial parks but uh you know what i'm actually really excited to do this whole big map because it's really it's really just something different from, from what I've done before. So if you are 
familiar with my other videos. So there's another city that I done which is on the Gibraltar map. So if you look at the buildings, if you look at the buildings on that, it's kind of similar to what I want to do with the more modern city. So go check that out if you want to see kind of the inspiration for that. Not exactly the same, but definitely there's going to be some similarities in terms of building heights, densities, and the way are uh, the roads being really wavy and wonky as well. Now you'll notice throughout these little villages, I leave very random bits of green space and they might look like a really ugly park, but trust me, I'm leaving all of the areas blank for a reason. You'll just have to wait and see what gets put in there over time. But yes, this park, it is ugly, but I mean, oh well. <laughs> It gives it character and I don't really like using the generic in-game parks because they're just square and they're kind of boring so I like to make my own which have a wonky pathway and things like that. So this area here, this is going to be the main little area of this village. So one side is just land, it's trees, and this side has got the little, the seawall. I'm going to put in some planters, put some plants in them. I'm going to put in a few little seating areas, cafes, little stalls, things like that. And maybe a little um, walkway for where the boats can go as well, and where the people can actually get onto the boat as well. So this one is going to look more historical because, just, just because of the shape of this area. Whereas the other one, it's just different because it's just along a coastline so you guys will see <laughs> how it'll all develop and I don't want you guys to look at this map and say that's not exactly the same as blah 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 country or city so my inspiration has came from so many different places that it's really hard to it, it's kind of hard for you guys to say what's right or what's wrong um, you just have to kind of watch and see the theme that slowly, slowly develops because if I do an exact exact replica of a city could you imagine how you know harsh some of you guys could be could be like that's not that's not right that's not blah, 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 blah. we don't do that blah 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 so that's why i don't want to say exactly like one country so it's a real mixture of areas The good thing about these buildings is that you can really easily just place large buildings on top because then it looks more in depth because it's kind of, it's layered up a little bit. So you'll notice a lot of these buildings they do overlap um, because that's kind of how it looks in the areas of my inspiration which you guys can check in the little map preview. So I talked about, well I put in the description what my inspiration was. So yeah, a lot of the buildings are really compact, but it makes it easy to put large buildings on top, like high-rises, which we will have a lot of high-rises in certain areas on top of these types of buildings. Um, probably going to end up using some of the buildings from Sami Vostok. Now, there was an area in Sami Vostok which was right next to the old town, and where it tra transitioned from the old town into the modern area, there was those really kind of... There was some high-rise buildings, and they just didn't look that good, but those are the buildings that you're going to see throughout this whole map in the older, more slummy type <laughs> city, wherever that develops. So those buildings I'm talking about are actually from the Hong Kong pack. No offense to people in Hong Kong and, and their buildings, but that's just what they're called. So the, the large Hong Kong buildings um, you're going to see throughout this area. And yeah, I'm really excited to just get this city going. Um, as always, I always say, leave suggestions, leave comments about what you want to see. Um, and yeah, here's just a quick little end preview basically. So we've got the little market area. There's really not that many people in these two areas yet. So there's, there's still the main village on that island across the whole bay, harbour area, whatever you want to call it. Um, but eventually these ones will be so much bigger than the original town as well. So I like it. I like that it's it's a real little just clump of buildings and we got the two little bits that that break off which allows us to do future expansion i just really like it and i like the mountains in the background it just looks really good meanwhile over here this one's a little bit of a different shape so it's a bit longer it just follows the coastline around um the population there i believe is 1274 so a decent little size but you're really not 
you won't notice too many cars and people walking around yet. It's still it's still pretty small, but eventually ooh, it's going to be busy. It's going to there's just going to be a lot going on, you guys. Just wait and see. So, and I hope there's actually bad traffic because I want to actually get into managing the traffic as well, which is also really fun. And I know you guys do enjoy that. And it's going to be really wonky and wavy and going to be chaotic, chaotic, which is really really good. So I left a few random roads that break out just to allow for future expansion. Um, this is our current little downtown and there they are. So that's it you guys. <laughs> so in the next episode I probably will do just maybe two more starter villages and then we'll get into the whole big expansion. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.